Welcome back to Cyber Sea of Galilee DSMME on this Sunday, October 11th, the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The readings today from the liturgy are so rich. I know you've already been to Mass, or maybe you're preparing for Mass as you listen to this, and so you, you either do know or will know what I'm talking about, but one of my favorite readings is the Book of Wisdom. And in the seventh chapter, we hear from this today, and it said, I prayed and wisdom was given me. I entreated and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I esteemed her more than riches. This is so beautiful because what ultimately does the Holy Spirit tell us the gift of wisdom is to basically see things as God sees things. And so it's to look beyond what goes on in our life and just see almost like kind of a movie, it's just this is what's happening, to delve into and say, okay, if these things are happening, how do I translate that spiritually? How do I look into the heart? And do you know that the spirit of wisdom or the gift of wisdom actually perfects the theological virtue of charity? So when our hearts have wisdom, we love. And that's a very beautiful thing, but you have to pray for prudence. You have to pray for wisdom. You have to pray to see things as God sees them more than as man sees them. Well, further in the liturgy, we have the Gospel of Mark. And this is a very pertinent passage about a young man who did not have the gift of wisdom, I don't think. Why would I say that? Because Jesus is walking along. This man comes up to him, a young boy, a teenager, who has many, many gifts. And so he goes, oh, Master, I want to follow you. And so Jesus says, okay, good. I will accept your offer. Leave everything you have and come follow me. Now, wouldn't you just drop it all and go running into his arms? I hope I would. I think I would. I think to a certain extent I did. I think you probably did too. But it says... He turned away sadly because he had many possessions. Oh my gosh, who cares about the junk? Who cares about the accumulations? Who cares about all this fluff that's here today and rotted tomorrow or whatever? He turned away from God and God's invitation because he owned a bunch of stuff. Talk about totally taking the gift of wisdom and inverting it on self. Me, 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 me. That's all I care about. Why did he even run up anyway and say, good master? And Jesus tells us because he says to him, first of all, just do the normal thing. Live the commandments. Live a moral life. And the man says, I do. This young boy, I do live those. And Jesus looked on him with love. I think I would have just melted and been the end of the story. He would have had to put me back together again or something. I really don't even, can't even fathom. And then Jesus said, okay, so if you are good, and I know that, then leave everything you have and come follow me. And the rich young man turned away because he had many possessions. Put his back to God and walked in the opposite direction. I'll never understand this. St. John Paul the Great has a whole huge teachings on this in regards particularly to young people and to find their vocation and do God's will for them and not to turn their back. Where did he go? What else was out there? Did he ever fulfill himself? We don't really know. We could all have our own theories and I kind of have my own theory, but that's really neither here nor there. But the fact of the matter is that could be me and that could be you and that could be at any moment of our lives. Let us never turn our backs on God because God is the source of the wisdom that illuminates our hearts, fills them with fire for love of God. Wow, what a powerful Sunday or this is because of the readings in this 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Let's take them to heart and slow down and think about them and pray over them and try to live them and beg God for the gift of wisdom. Signing off in Cyber Sea of Galilee, DSMME. God bless you and blessed Lord's Day.